Now let us discuss about Hall effect transducers. So before uh, studying the Hall effect transducers, let us first know what you mean by Hall effect. See, when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, a transverse effect is uh, noted on the conductor and that effect is called as Hall effect. So the scientist known as Hall found that when a magnetic field is applied at right angles to the direction of electric current, an electric field is set up which is perpendicular to both the direction of electric current as well as applied magnetic field. So in other words, we can say that when any specimen, when any specimen conductor carrying a current I is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field B, then an electric field E is induced in the conductor in the direction perpendicular to both I and B and this phenomenon is called as Hall effect. So now let us consider a specimen bar carrying a current I in the positive X direction. Let a magnetic field B is applied in the positive Z direction. Then according to Hall effect, a force gets exerted on the charge carriers in the positive Y direction. So here the current flowing through the uh, this specimen conductor may be uh, due to holes or electrons in the positive x direction. So let the specimen bar be a semiconductor bar here. So therefore irrespective of nature of charge carriers whether it is due to holes or electrons these charge carriers uh, get uh, accumulated or passed downwards towards phase 1 in the positive y direction. So now uh, the current in n type specimen is carried uh, almost by electrons and these electrons as a result of Hall effect get accumulated towards phase 1. Uh, then therefore this phase 1 is uh, negatively charged as compared to phase 2. Consequently, a potential difference develops across surface 1 and surface 2 and this voltage is called as Hall voltage VH and this Hall voltage in N type semiconductor is positive at surface 2. On the other hand, in case of uh, P type semiconductor, the Hall voltage is positive at surface 1. So now the polarity of Hall voltage developed, it enables uh, to determine whether the semiconductor specimen is N type or P type. So in this case, the Hall voltage VH is given by RH into B into I divided by B, where RH is Hall coefficient, it is constant. B is the magnetic field strength, I is the current carried by the specimen and small b is the width of the specimen along the magnetic field. So in this case the magnitude of Hall voltage is given by this equation and the polarity of Hall voltage it gives, it enables us to determine whether the semiconductor specimen is N type or P type. So this concept is used to measure different quantities in terms of Hall voltage. So therefore, uh, let, us, uh, uh, let us utilize this principle of Hall effect in case of Hall effect transducer. Now let us discuss about Hall effect transducers. So these Hall effect transducers are the transducers in which Hall effect is used to measure different non-electrical quantities such as displacement or level or force or pressure 
anything. So here, commercial Hall effect transducers are made up of uh, uh, semiconductor materials like germanium, silicon, or any other semiconductor materials. So let us see first the Hall effect transducer used for the measurement of displacement. So here, this Hall effect transducer can be used to measure displacement, linear displacement of an object. So as shown in the figure, there are two permanent magnets and there is a Hall effect element. Hall effect element is kept in between in the air gap between the two permanent magnets. So uh, the permanent magnets uh, develop a constant magnetic field in between in the air gap and there is a ferromagnetic plate this ferromagnetic plate is movable and the displacement of this ferromagnetic plate is to be determined now as this ferromagnetic plate is moved towards the permanent magnet and away from from the permanent magnet in that case the field strength the magnetic field strength in the air gap changes and therefore the voltage developed across the hall effect element it depends upon the magnetic field strength in the air gap so as the magnetic field strength changes the voltage the hall voltage developed will also change and this magnetic field strength is a function of displacement of ferromagnetic plate so therefore this hall voltage developed is proportional to the displacement of the ferromagnetic plate as the ferromagnetic plate is moved towards uh, this permanent magnet the hall voltage increases and as the ferromagnetic plate is moved away from the permanent magnet the hall voltage decreases so therefore here the displacement of this ferromagnetic plate is measured in terms of the hall voltage developed across hall effect element now let us discuss about hall effect transducer used for the measurement of fluid level so let us see its construction so it consists of a fuel whose uh, level is to be determined and there is a float over which there is a permanent magnet which produces constant magnetic field around it and the float is attached to spring so as the fluid level fuel level or fluid level increases in the tank the level of the magnet also increases and as the fuel level decreases the magnet moves down next there is a hall sensor or hall effect transducer placed in the vicinity of magnet on top of it so now this magnet is attached to the float and as the level of the fuel changes here so therefore the float distance from the hall sensor also changes that means this magnet permanent magnet it produces constant magnetic field so because of which uh, the hall voltage is developed across the hall sensor and as uh, the fuel level changes so the float float level or float distance also changes so therefore the magnet it moves down or up in this way it changes the magnetic field which links with the hall effect element in the hall sensor so therefore the output voltage developed the hall voltage developed will also be changed so here the fuel level or liquid level is measured in terms of the output voltage developed by the hall sensor so such hall sensors or hall effect transducers are used to measure the level of fuel in vehicles so these are used as uh, fuel level measurement 
devices in automobile fuel tank.